Ain't that the right for them? Oh, yeah, baby, you gold. You gold. It's there. Period. It's I just there. got laced in my expensive It's there. Skin. She Guys, definitely laced. Listen. Mmm. 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 Yo, he just slayed the face. Come on the camera so the people can see the man behind the slave. <laughs> what are some of your top, like, skincare items? So, skincare, again, I like to use my Charlotte Tillsbury Magic Cream. Mm -hmm. Urban Skin RX has a great um, line of products. Um... Who else do I like to use? That's what I use on myself. Use those products on myself all the time. Mm -hmm. If I were to choose something that I was use that I would use on my clients, I use the Kills, a lot of Kills products. Um, Is it because drunk it's more elephant. organic? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I use. That's why I like Kills. Yeah, because it is organic. I like Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant is absolutely phenomenal, and they have a large selection of travel size products. So I don't have to commit to something that's not. Um, to a full size product, a full size product. If I don't know how to use it, mm -hmm. I kind of take a travel size product and kind of play around with it first mm -hmm. to kind of see if I'm going to like it and how it's going to uh, react to my client's skin. So, what are some of your like kit must haves? Um, kit must haves: Nars, Natural Radiant, <laughs> Longwear, Foundation. Mm. Love it. That one thing. <laughs> Love it. What else? Um, I do enjoy um morphe has i work for morphe morphe has a powder that i absolutely love um because it, it gives a filtered skin like finish without the um like this powder here has a lot of shimmer mm -hmm. whereas the morphe powder is flat but it's extremely finely milled so it's going to give you that filter finish without shine oh, okay so it's like perfect for doing tv and film those are those are probably my my must haves for sure. <laughs> well, must haves for sure. Yeah. Why I couldn't see it? Y'all saw my lips get tripped up. Beat up. Nars products are like <laughs> holy grail. And you know I've never really used Nars. Really? Yeah. Nars is like Nars for me is like the end all be all. Yeah. Like I gotta have it. You know, I'm stuck in the matosphere. Yeah. <laughs> cool. He's going to teach me some beauty, some beautiness. Well, it's all about, like, you can still powder, but you see how she's yeah. powdered, but you can still see the shine mm -hmm. in the high planes of her face. She still has shine in the areas where it needs to be. And that's all. That's all. Like, it's literally, like, just choosing where it's about placement, choosing where to place the product. So you said that you... Um you took some classes. Yes. So what classes did you take in order to get here to this level of artistry? Um, my favorite makeup artist in the whole wide world <laughs> um, came to Atlanta. Her name is Vanessa Myricks. This is when I saw my artistry start to transform. Um, she came and I was loving on her so much before I even met her that she knew who I was when she came to the class that's beautiful like she she knew like when she came through the door she was just like that's marquis ward and i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> like you you know me yeah. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and um that that meant a lot to me um i've taken her class twice um i've taken classes of a couple of people like a couple of artists in atlanta mm -hmm. um i have a few atlanta faves who i um kind of look up to like Jeremy Dale, love Jeremy Dale, love MUA Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex is awesome. Alex is Missy Elliott's makeup artist. Um, she's absolutely amazing. Um, what else do I love here? Melissa um, Ocasio, her name is Millie Baby on Instagram. That's like one of my, like my sister. Mm -hmm. Love her. Cherie Beauty is um, a makeup artist in Atlanta. She's from Atlanta. She's also my best friend of 16 years yeah and um i also enjoy draco draco is one of my close friends and i also enjoy face boss beats his name is Corey, mm -hmm. and that's one of my friends as well yes so what is like some advice that you would give somebody just coming up that hasn't really gotten to the level of you know celebrities and sets and stuff like that how would you say to transition into that um i would say just stay the course mm -hmm. because 
I almost gave up. Mm -hmm. And right when I was about to throw in the towel, God said, wait a second, mm -hmm. you've worked so hard for this. Let me, I'm gonna give you something. I know you lost, you lost something, but I got a gift for you. Yeah. Just be still. And I tell everybody the same thing. You have to stay consistent. You have to invest in your craft. Be intentional with where you're going in your artistry. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you want to take time to um, invest in those classes. And you want to take time to, um, you know, create those looks that inspire you. Yeah. Um, so that for me, that's the biggest thing. Just stay the course. Because everything else is going to fall into place. A lot of people are like, oh, I want to do celebrity makeup. I want to do celebrity makeup. But it's not about that. Because the celebrity is going to see your talent whether you put it in their face or not. If they're looking for it, they're going to see it. Yeah. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to say, I want to do celebrity makeup because your work is going to speak for itself. I always tell people, do the work of the people that you want to attract. Yeah. So if you want to attract red carpet, I mean celebrities, do red carpet makeup. Yeah. If you want to do um, attract a Beyonce or a Rihanna, do the looks that they wear on the red carpet. Yeah. And those are going to be the clients that you attract. That makes sense. Perfect sense. I ain't never heard better advice than that. Did y'all? If you like it, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you said invest in your artistry. So does that mean like taking classes? Take like class. what does that look like? Yeah, investing in investing in your artistry for me is mm -hmm. classes. You wanna hone your craft. You nobody gets better without practice. Right. And you be in school from the time you're born to the time right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes practice encompasses you having, to, you know, having to spend a little bit of money. And I feel like a lot of times people worry about the wrong thing. I've t I've done classes for people where they have a pen and pad and they're writing down every item I use. Mm -hmm. But I tell them every time, it don't matter what you use; it's about how you're using it. Mm -hmm. So if you're not paying attention to what I'm doing and you just want to know about the products, how are you going to grow in your artistry? Yeah. All you're doing is growing their product. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Product knowledge. <laughs> so how does one, like, book a class with you? Or um, is that a thing? Yeah, it's definitely a thing. Mm -hmm. um, I am doing, because we are quarantined, I'm going to be doing an online um, session very soon. Um, I, I've been giving a lot, of, a lot of free knowledge away. So if you are on Instagram and um, you are not following me, please take the time to follow um, at Marquise, M-A-R-Q-U-I-S, W-A-R-D, beauty. I do lives all the time, um, teaching, you know, future um, entrepreneur, beauty, beauty entrepreneurs how to enhance skin, or how to perfect skin, and how to do brows and things of that nature, and it's free. Um, you can ask me as many questions as you want, but I am going to do a um, in-depth um, class very soon. I'm planning it right now because my students are asking me and I want to be able to give that to them. So for any updates about, you know, classes or anything, just go to my, follow me on Instagram and I'll be able to, you'll be able to um, get the updates there. Open up for me. Yes, guys. What's this? This is just um, fancy bronzer. Mm. Is this your preferred bronzer? Um, right now, yes. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's definitely my preferred bronzer. What do you like about it? Um, it's like I like this particular shade because okay. I feel like this shade. Um, it feels lightweight use. though. It is super lightweight, mm -hmm. and it's just a teeny bit. Um, you no, know, just a small bit of shimmer. And I'm using it to um, define and shape your um, eyelid right now. Yes. I'm enjoying it. Do y'all see the skin, though? Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glue glue. I don't have no highlight on. No. This is skin, baby. Period. But it look like highlight, right? Facts. Yeah. See? It's all about placement. This, this, he's, he's, he's anointed. <laughs> And appointed. God is able. Yeah, he did. I'm going to take a class, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what? What are you waiting on? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely about placement. You definitely got to make sure that you are uh, placing your product with intention. That's the main thing I tell all my students. I'm like, look, 
we all want these extravagant looks and you want skin. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're placing your product with intention. Mm. Like if you know you want the cheekbone to be highlighted, don't pow powder in that area. So what look are you going for today? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, how, they, you know how they do the, um, the um, poetry and the person does the poetry, the person <laughs> paints. Yeah. You asking me question and I'm just going with the flow. Yay! I live for that. I live. That's the look that we're doing today. So what are some of your hidden talents that nobody would ever be able to guess you know how to do? I mean, you gave it away. <laughs> I kind of gave it away myself, right? Mm -hmm. um, I do sing. You want to hit a tune for us? No, I will not. Come on, just a little razzle dazzle for the people in the back. Are y'all subscribed in the back? If y'all in the back, subscribe. So Marquise is starting a YouTube channel. What what can we expect to see on your YouTube? Um, I think the biggest thing for me, and what I you know what I've heard from my current following is they want to see more of my personality. Mm -hmm. I like to hide behind the paint, <laughs> um, and not you know I don't like to be because I, I just feel like you know it's not I don't feel like it's about me. I feel like it's about my gift, mm -hmm. but my followers feel otherwise. They're like, okay. look, we want to see you. We, you know, we know you can do makeup. Mm -hmm. We know that. Yeah. We want to see more of you. So I, I told, you know, I let my people know they'll be seeing a lot more of me and my personality. If you guys watched my live last night, pretty sure you've seen a lot of personality on there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot going on. Um, so that that's the main thing. Um, I do want to get into special effects. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning on um, having one of my friends who is in the union come on and do some special effects with me. It's, it's not going to be the best, guys. I'm letting you know that now. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it a shot. Yes. You can do anything you put your mind to. Sure can now. Period. Sure can. What are some of like your favorite looks to do? Um... I mean, obviously for me, it's the skin. Mm -hmm. Any skin-like looks. Um, I love soft glam, wearable glam. What's soft glam? Soft glam, for to me, mm -hmm. is like your everyday okay. glam. Like I want, I want the every, I want my makeup to translate to the everyday woman. I don't want them to look at myself and be like, "Oh, I can't do that." Mm -hmm. Of course, sometimes we want to be able to show, you know, to show that. Versatility. That their versatility in the artistry, but I do want people to be like, oh, you know what? I looked at this, I went home, and I was able to do it. That yeah. type of thing. Yes. So, make, as a makeup artist, we all have our favorite step. Mine is spraying myself down with Fix Plus. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just feel like it just seals the makeup. It makes it look seamless. Love that. What is your favorite step in the makeup process? Oh, this is hard for me. <laughs> I feel like the look is complete once I put the lip on. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I can, you can have a whole eye look, and it'd be like, you know what, this is cute. But once you pop that lip on, mm -hmm. it's like, that's it. Yeah, sometimes the lip does it. Because sometimes I don't even like the look until I put the lip on. Or a good lash. Ooh, child. But that Fix Plus is like euphoric. <laughs> I feel like I'm running through the rainbow. Yeah, it's like <laughs> skin is the same. Right? <laughs> Period. <laughs> So I have a question for you. What about Fix Plus tickles your fancy? Um, so I like that. I feel like it's lightweight. Um, I feel like it helps to seal the product. Cause I use a lot of powders. I'm matte queen. Like I said, Marquise is over here teaching me how to do the dupe. Okay. But um, it helps to seal all those powders together and it makes it super seamless and it helps me to stay matte all day. Like I just feel like it gels everything together. Mm -hmm. That and all nighter. Yes. I used to love all nighter. Mm -hmm. it smell like hairspray, but. <laughs> <laughs> it smell like hairspray for sure. <laughs> it gets the job done. Yeah, it's it ain't definitely, going nowhere. This is pretty. It's definitely has. It's definitely hairspray for sure. So <laughs> I think. I think an interesting topic or a thing to point out is Marquise doesn't wear makeup, guys. He no. doesn't wear makeup. I've never seen him put a brush to his face. 
ever. I barely even see him put on chapstick. So I don't even know how his lips so juicy and moist all the time. <laughs> so like, how does someone who doesn't really do, do the application on themselves, because most people in makeup wear makeup. Mm -hmm. So how do you get such a flawless finish on other people when you don't even play around with it on yourself? I kind of feel like I envision the look in my head. Mm -hmm. So it's like, hmm. Like if I, it, it's weird. It's so weird because it's just like, well, maybe if I take this approach, it'll look like this mm -hmm. type of thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know. It's, it's strange. Like I've never had, like, I've never been the person to be like, I got to do my makeup. Mm -hmm. I've never been that person. So it's like, I I want the you know I don't I don't want to be I because I never honestly wanted to be in the forefront of of my brand. Mm -hmm. Wanted my artistry to speak for itself, mm -hmm. and my whole thing is wanting whomever I'm doing, man or woman, I want them to feel great about what I'm doing. Yeah. It's not about me, you know. It's more so it's more so about them. So I feel like that's one of the reasons why I never like did. You know, wanted to do makeup for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like a big burly man, so <laughs> what I look like with a pair of lashes on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just how I, you know, how I see things. Mm -hmm. I don't have anybody a problem with anyone who does. I have a lot of male friends that experiment mm -hmm. and do makeup. It's just not for me. Yeah, I get that. Great answer. When I look at like your artistry, it makes me think of. Like back in the day, like Diana Ross and where they had like the super blown out eyes really? and stuff like that. And it was so beautiful. Just like what you're creating here with this shape is making my eyes look dull. Now, I don't have no dull eyes, shut <laughs> But you're giving me a shape that I'm enjoying. <laughs> Which is beautiful. Thank you. I always love that. Like all your looks to me look super editorial. And I'm like, God, how do you blow it all the way back like that? And you use a lot of creams too, though. Mm -hmm. See, I use a lot of powders. You can together. still achieve the look. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make up. Hey, listen, I'm gonna make up enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> what palette are you using? We are using the. Jaclyn Hill, Volume Two. Yes. Yes. Miss Jackie went off, honey. <laughs> she went off. Yes. You hear me? She went absolutely off. So you mentioned earlier that you worked for Morphe. How's that? I absolutely love it. What's your favorite part about being in store? Um, the people I touch. Mm. Honestly, mm -hmm. and I feel like Morphe really has like. You guys have probably seen my work if you follow Morphe and not, did not know that it was my work that you were looking at. Morphe really shows love. Mm -hmm. They really show me love. Mm -hmm. And um, that's honestly, if I'm being real, what I enjoy about working for a brand like them because I work for another brand mm -hmm. and I'm not going I'm not going to talk badly about mm -hmm. that brand, but they weren't messing with your boy at yeah. all. And um that you know they I was promised a lot a lot of stuff while I was there that did not happen and what I like about Morphe is what they've promised me so far they came through yeah they, it's, it's happened for me so yes God I can't complain at all honestly it's a it's a really great company to work for so how do you come up with like these explosive looks Free, honestly <laughs> I feel like God <laughs> <laughs> he in my hand because I honest, I don't I don't know people ask me it all the time like you know what you're doing today no <laughs> I don't yeah it just kind of it's just you know whatever whatever the spirit is telling me to go that's the, that's the direction I go in mm -hmm. because I did not I know you probably wasn't expecting me to be like I know exactly what I'm doing today you know because you let me know about this <laughs> This little yeah. situation for a minute, but I, I was like, you know what? I just I wanted to be an organic situation. Yeah. Based on skin tone, like what is like your favorite color to use, or like someone with a deeper complexion, maybe like someone in between and lighter. Um, 
in regards to what? Boo? Like shadow. Um, eyeshadows for me, I love like someone of your complexion, like warm, warm browns. Mm -hmm. Love warm browns on like your um, butter pecan brown. Um, Ooh, I, he made me sound type good. Of, you know, type of, type of client. Um, <laughs> on my chocolate girls, purples are beautiful mm -hmm. on chocolate skin. Like that unicorn. Like that unicorn expensive skin. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful beautiful on um, chocolate girls. Do you have all the shades with you? No. No. Okay. I'm sold out. He Ooh, sold out. Period. That's a blessing, guys. Thanks. <laughs> um... And on my fair skin, like peachy tones, peachy tones, pinks, um, cool tones look beautiful on fair skin. Mm -hmm. What are we going with this? Let me see, friend. That's that pretty. Baby. Mm -hmm. What I got going on her? You zooming and zooming and zooming well. What I got going on here? Okay, guys. So, I feel like. We're going to cut off the Q&A here. Show you guys the finished look. Let's get into this beat, okay? Thank you, thank you, you thank you. Thing. I try, I try. So what inspired this look? What made you go in this direction on me? <laughs> Conversation. <laughs> yes? <laughs> conversation did it did yeah. you enjoy yourself i really did i'm so thankful yes so thankful that you've allowed me to be on your channel you are so funny listen <laughs> it is it is a blessing <laughs> that he even came on my little channel you know we humble over here okay <laughs> but thank you so much for you're being welcome my no, first problem. no problem i really did enjoy it um that was a god ordained conversation listen woo child all right so before i cry <laughs> let's, let's get out of here once again make sure that you guys get your expensive skin at marquiseward.com it's on pre-sale right now it is the it price is. is how much 25 dollars 25 dollars 25 dollars <laughs> y'all been stimulated to go ahead over right there exactly and get your expensive get skin your, get your expensive skin <laughs> now <laughs> all right so um subscribe to his channel subscribe to mine and i will see you guys in my next video Peace.